Hello everybody, my name is Alex and welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. This is episode 2 and today we're going to be making our way to Heliodor. But first we have to wander around out here. Because we've been, we woke up in the middle of the night I guess. So now we're just gonna wander around until we run into... Our friend here. Oh, can't sleep either, eh? You remember this tree, don't you? I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. There I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? You know... I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. <sighs> I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the Luminary appeared and saved the day. When it was all over, the Luminary turned into a star. And he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. That's his star, right there. <sighs> How can you be the Luminary too? I... I just don't get it. I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand. Really, I do. Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to. Goodbye, old friend. Exhausted after his long day, I finally fall into a restless slumber. The morning comes. <laughs> well. Just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. You won't forget him, will you? He was a fine, upstanding man, the pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Oh, by the way, I've popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. Why don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor? You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. So we're going to do that. We're going to go and buy. I don't think I have to buy anything. I think I have the pot lid. Um... Yeah, I have the pot lid, which is that they, they sell that at the store. I mean, it look cool, so... <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'll need to buy anything. This just leads up. There's nothing up here, if you're wondering. See, there's nothing up here. I mean, you can break these. But that's pretty much it. <laughs> And you can get another pair of plain clothes here if you open this. I remember that. <laughs> but yeah. Now we're gonna go and go to... There's a couple side quests that you can do around here. Um, but I'm not going to, I don't think.
theory, do you know what am I gonna do? That isn't young. Hey, you come al at the start of time. I've got a favor to ask. The other day I was playing with my lad, you know, messing around as you do. Well, anyway, he's got this flurry feather that he loves and well. A fool that I am managed to let it blow away. Luckily, the wind only blew it as far as the roof of your shed. I'd go and get it myself, but I'm not too good with heights, I'm afraid. Anyway, I know you're a brave young fellow, and I was wondering if you'd mind clambering up there and getting it back from me. You'd be doing me a huge favor. Alright. I know how to climb. You just tell me how to climb. So I think we should go up here. Oh god, I'm stuck. Thank you. <laughs> I was stuck. This is it. No? Oh, up there. Okay. Okay, yeah. This is my shed, so I would assume, yeah, it'll be on my house. There we go. There you are. It looks like you have the feather. Would you mind letting me have it? Yes. Thanks. I knew you were let me down. I can't wait to see the look on the boy's face. Oh, and I, before I forget, here's a little something in return. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure that's not all I got a tip for you. I hope you find this useful. If you ever do someone good in return, look for a purple speech bubble above their head. Okay, yeah. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> we did it. Um, I don't know if that's the only one that's around here. I don't think... Yeah, I think that's the only one around here. I mean, I've never, like, really looked around here. I guess I could. I guess we could look around a little bit. I don't, I don't want these videos to be too long, though. Let's see. What's going on up here? Stuff to break? <laughs> Just some random stuff. I jumped down. No fall damage. Okay. I was half expecting to die there, but I guess not. All right, let's go into the store. There we go. Make sure you got all the SS we set off. Welcome to the valid. Welcome, valued customer. Can I serve you? I'd like to buy. Uh, I did buy the bandana on my main profile, so I guess I'll buy it again. Yes. I don't think I have enough. I do. I'll get those two. And then I guess I'll sell. And I'll sell those as well. That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's all we need. Can I get back there? No. I didn't think so. But, you never know. Alright. Is there a way to update my sensitivity? The camera... Yes. No, not inverted. How do we, uh... Oh god, I don't think that saved, did it? It did, okay. It's just really slow. <laughs> That's better. That's better. We'll leave it. It's fine. Who are you? Some advice from the bloke, from one bloke to another. Keep your mind on the job, no matter how fierce the fighting gets. You gotta stay focused. The more you get walloped, the more you focused you'll get. And before you know it, you'll be pepped up. Then you'll really be full of beans. Whenever you're pepped up, you'll be stronger, faster, better at everything. These ain't another... There ain't another feeling like it. Go on, my son. Get out there and pep yourself silly. 
Well, I think that's all I have to do. Excuse me. <laughs> let's, can, let's just leave. Let's go. So, this is it. My little soldiers. We're really leaving. You might not be back for a while. I hope you've said your goodbyes. Yes, I have. Off you go, then. One day you're just a little boy. The next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. <laughs> to think, it's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating in... in, 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 in I mean, since he brought you to Cobblestone. We never thought there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries, of all things. You know who the luminary was, of course. The legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. And we're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalky, of course, but it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. Oh, when you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> If he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us, <laughs> if you catch my drift. <laughs> what a guy. Oh, you are terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. No, oh, no, I'm only joking, of course. The very thought. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, yes, no. The fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take this map of Erdria with you. May it prove useful in finding your way. May this magnificent steed, the pride of Cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. You'll find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. You travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy, such a good boy. You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. So remember my first playthrough, I looked for Gemma around the village and I couldn't find her, but she does come up at the end here after you do this. Wait. Here, take this with you. I, I made it for you. Gemma's charm. It'll keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Oh, I don't know what's in store for you out there, but wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't... don't forget us, will you? Take care, and remember, we'll be waiting for you. Alright, so, there's gonna be a lot of enemies through here. I know how that works. <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of enemies through here, but we can either run them over with the horse or just fight them. So, I don't know which I'm going to do. Like, you see? You can run them over like that. And like that. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But, yeah, I don't know. Go through your you. The monsters made that way. I know. I know. I was just exploring. No. Okay. 
I'll just run them over for now. We'll have to fight them later on, so... Actually, I'm gonna dismount here. Fight this one. So I've never actually fought this before, so... A dark... a drakey? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, let's try a spell. Let's see how uh, that works. Uh, let's do a spell on this one. Hey, it's done. Let's go. What do you call that? A Draki? I don't know. Eight points in eight in ten gold. There you go. I forgot the button to get back on, but it's fine. You can run these ones over too. I forget what they're called, but. Punk. But you'll have to fight them later. I don't know why I'm swerving to run them over. <laughs> Hold on a second. This guy's gonna teach us about, like, fires and stuff. Oh, oh, what have we here? I know a budding adventurer when I see one. It can be risky heading into the great outdoors if you aren't familiar with the basics of survival, you know. See the remains of that fire over there? Well, when you spy one of those, it means you can set up camp and rest your weary bones. To settle down for the night, just go up to the fire and examine it. You'll soon be enjoying a well-earned break. Watch that. You're worried about being attacked by monsters while you sleep? Oh, ye of little faith! That statue over there is chock full of holy powers that'll keep the beasties at bay for as long as you need. And that's not all. You can pray to it to be cured of poison and all kinds of other things. Think of it as a mini church. Anyway, enough of my yammering. Why don't you take a closer look at all this camping kit for yourself? You'll need to get used to what campsites look like and how to find them. After all, you'll be relying on them whenever you're out in the wilderness. It's like my old dad always said. Keen campers can continue on where others can't. Be prepared. Well, that's all from me. If you have any camping-related queries, feel free to ask. I'm here all the time. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Because that just teaches us about, like, the camping stuff and whatever. But there's also... Some more monsters and stuff down here. If you want to fight them... You can. I'm running low on MP though. <laughs> I did kill the one. There we go. 10 XP, 8 gold. Level 4, let's go! Alright, um. I'm gonna go this way. Um, I'm gonna fight this one. Oh, my MP's up because I leveled up. That's good. There we go. We did it. 8 XP, 5 gold, and a treasure chest. I've never actually seen that. Let's see what that is. Is that... Let me put that on, actually. I put this on, but then I won't... Yeah, I won't be able to use a, a shield, so I'll just keep... No, stop. <laughs> He's doing that. No, stop it. The pot lid back on. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Was that an item? 
Yeah. Currency of Fallen Kingdom no longer legal tender, but can be sold for a few gold coins. Oh, okay. So it's like a treasure thing. Makes sense. What is this? Jug of fresh water. I don't know if that's used for him, but... Bonk. I haven't bought one of these yet, so let's go ahead and do it. I went to the wrong thing by accident. XP 7 gold. Alright, we haven't fought one of these yet, so let's do it. No! I've fallen. Let's use that. Here we go. 6 XP and 8 gold. Alright, let's go. Can I? Let's heal myself. There we go. What can I use to restore MP? Nothing? Okay, probably nothing. Let's fight. If I just use my spells, that's a lot of damage. He's dead. All right, eight XP, ten gold. Where did I? I gotta go this way. That's right. All right, so we fought everything that's up here. Let's just keep going forward then. here. Let's go. We've made it. I'm sure there'll be a parade for us. Unless they not find out who we are. Heliodor, we've arrived. I haven't seen you around here before. You're here to see the king, you say? Well, you won't find him around here. You better head to the castle, go straight with the road, and bob to your uncle. Just remember, they, they shut the gates as soon as the sun goes down. The king needs his sleep, you know? You're best off heading there bright and early if you want an audience. I go there immediately. Oh my god, it's that guy. I just found out you can tell what houses you can go in by the red lines on the map. Who knew? It's amazing the things you can learn from books. Okay, bro. West? I came all the way to Heliodor with just one goal in mind, to catch a glimpse of two of the greatest heroes in all of history, Sir Jasper and Sir Hendrik. The only problem is that they won't let me into the castle. Can you believe it? Well, if I'm going to meet them in person, I suppose I'll have to bide my time by reading up on them instead. You know, if you wanted to earn my eternal gratitude, you could help me find a book about the exploits of those two fabulous knights. Uh, I'll try my best. Thank you, I know there's a book about my two favorite knights just in a bookshelf somewhere. I can look around the West City, so maybe you should head east. If you see any bookshelves with red books on them, take a closer look. Apparently, they're the ones worth reading. If you do manage to find a book about Jasper and Hendrik, make sure to come back and tell me about it, won't you? I've accepted this quest. <laughs> okay, so... He said... He said he went... Which way? Which way am I supposed to go? It's not like a quest log. <laughs> I'm sure... Magic. <laughs> Magic. Uh, quest catalog. 
Eastern part of town. Apparently, it's searching workshops in the eastern. Okay. I'm searching east, right? Which is like this way? No, that's east. I gotta go this way. You name it, I probably got it. Don't leave without getting stocked up on all your adventuring essentials. Welcome to the item shop. I'd like to buy. Whisks the user away to the last place they prayed or the last important location they visited. Might as well buy one. Why not? <laughs> Why not buy one? Okay, I don't see any bookshelves. <laughs> up there though. Can't possibly jump up there though. I have to have this. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> I can do it on that one though. A feather, okay. I can't go in that house. It's red. There's a green one over here though. Press airs off limits now you wouldn't mind clearing off. Okay, rude. Um, can I do that quest later? I don't know. I don't know if I can do it later, though. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm gonna break your stuff. I don't have any bookshelves, do you? I'm gonna steal this. Oh, wow, 37, okay. Cat. Um, I'm gonna just like continue forward and see if I can just do that later. I can't go into either of these places yet. Oh, I can. They were red, I didn't know. No one sells sharper swords than me. You can look, but you'd probably not touch. What do you have? I'm gonna pass on those, bro. Armor is every adventurer's best pal. What chips they own? Okay. Leather shield. Might get that. I get the shield, actually. Me. Yes. There we go. That'll do me better than the pot lid that I had. Because <laughs> I had the Wayfarer's clothes, so... Yeah, a lot of these doors are, like, not... Like, they're red. So I must become... I must come back here later, right? I would assume so. There are gold coins. Let's go. Uh, I can't go in there. Ah, a red book. All oh, the dingy dungeons. Far below the basements of this in storerooms of a Hellier castle, deep within the very bowels lies the dungeons. That house is the most heinous and hardened criminals in the kingdom. Many who have been locked away in those cold, dank cells have not lived to see the outside world again. Those whose crimes are deemed truly unforgivable are thrown into the deepest cells of all, from which it is said to be all but impossible to escape, a death sentence in all but name. Take care to say that on the right side of the law, dear reader, least you too be locked up and the key be thrown away forever. I don't think that had anything to do with what I was looking for. But, you know, you never know. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Maybe I can go on this side. No. Yeah, maybe there's a bookshelf in here. 
instead of plain clothes. That's basically five gold. I <laughs> uh, can't go in there. Another bookshelf was up, so maybe there is another one up here. No, okay. I'll just break these, I guess. Twenty-five gold. All right, I'll just, I'll just go forward. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just go into the castle, I guess. I'm assuming I come back here later, though. That would make sense. Halt! Not so fast. State your business. I explain that I'm the luminary and that I've come to speak to the king. <laughs> <laughs> Here, shake my hand, mate. That's the funniest one I've heard all week. Clear off, will ya? We haven't got time for this kind of nonsense. Oh, yeah. Ah. Mm. What's that? You want to show that pendant to the king, you say? Ah. Mm -hmm. Do you mind waiting here a minute? Huh? Ever so sorry for that little misunderstanding. Please, go right on through. His Majesty's waiting for you. Alright, so I'm in the castle now. I wonder... There's a bookshelf here. I, I, don't, I doubt I can go in here, but we're gonna try. I can. There wouldn't be a bookshelf out here, though. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm missing that quest or not. I just break stuff, okay. Uh, break them. No, I have to smash them, actually. Alright, let's go back, I guess. Maybe up here? You have a bookshelf? You do. It was called King Carnelian Behind the Throne. Having seen several generations of his line, I can say with some certainty that King Carnelian is a rare breed of monarch, possessed of all the qualities required in a truly great leader. Both loved and feared by the populace, he is the, like a father to them, kind yet stern, firm yet fair. Not since the days of the great kings of old has our nation been so blessed. Through his face may have grown hard and lined since the terrible events that took place those few short years ago, some might say that this has added a certain depth that improves him yet further. I have so resolutely <laughs> overcome with such grief and yet still led his nation boldly onward is surely a sign that Carnelian is a king among kings. I, I don't think that has anything to do with like the knights, but you know what? Maybe this one will. Delian Geo Geographic. Of the many nations, both large and small, that make up Erdrea, there are five so called Great Five that stand above all others in the eyes of the world. Ancient and honorable Dundrazil, Steadfast and Stony Heliodor. Galopolis <laughs> with its noble desert knights. Sniffle. Sniffleheim. Sniffleheim? I don't know. <laughs> with its snow capped towers, but last but not least, Wardrust carpeted in flowers. I'm gonna say the Z is silent there. And just, it's it's Wardrust. I don't know. Those five nations guide the world, meeting every few years at the Great Con. Conference. I don't know why I'm I'm struggling to read it all now because there's so weird words. 
Tom was known as the Queen of Kings. In order to steer the course of Ur Ur Urdrian affairs in a direction agreeable to all. I say it again, that has nothing to do with what I'm looking for with this quest. Uh, I'm just gonna go forward. I'm gonna assume that's not here. I mean, I guess I could check the other side really quick. But yeah, let's just do that. Bookshelf. 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 No. Wardrobe, though. Nothing. Dang. Dang, man. Bookshelf? No. I guess this side is just... Not what I need. Let's just go forward. Be quite close enough. Welcome to Heliodor Castle, friend. The jewel of Dundrasil. You are bold indeed to have made your way here alone, wanderer. I am Carnelian, ruler of Heliodor. How long have I waited for this day? And now, finally, we meet. Truly, it is an honor. The fact that you come here proffering the jewel and asking to speak with me personally would suggest that you know something of your true nature. I take it that you also bear the mark? Yes, the mark of light. Then there is no doubt, you are he. Rejoice, dear subjects. The day is upon us at last. The luminary walks among us once more. <laughs> Tell me, O oh luminary, where exactly is it that you hail from? I would so very much like to pay tribute to those who took you in and raised you. He can tell us King Carnelian that he was raised in the village of Cobblestone. I see. Cobblestone, you say? Jasper, you know of this place? I do, my liege. A village of provincial nobodies deep in the rocky south. Then I take it you know what to do. Do not disappoint me. Yes, my liege. Cursed luminary. I know not what your intent was in coming here alone, but whatever your wicked scheme, know that it shall not succeed. <gasps> Hendrik, take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. Know this, the luminary is the root of all evil and will bring naught but misery to our realm. And why is this? The reason is simple. Just as light is intertwined with darkness, so too is the luminary intertwined with the dread lord of shadows. His coming heralds the resurrection of the Dark One. 
Did you really think you could fool one as wise as His Majesty? It was your great misfortune to confront one who knows your true nature. Men, seize this wretch! Well, that took a turn for the worst. <laughs> now I'm being locked in a dungeon. Come on. You claim to hail from Cobblestone. Well, before the sun has set three times, we shall know the truth. By then, Jasper will have returned from his investigation. If I were you, Dark Spawn, I would not expect to live beyond that day. Hmm. Well, that does it for part two of Dragon Quest XI. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.